Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at crystalline imperfections. Okay, so crystalline imperfections um, mean uh, the defects. Okay, so I'm going to write the word here defects that you will see uh, on a crystal structure. So crystal structure here refers to the solidified metals. Okay, the solid materials they have defects when formed. Alright, so you might think of these defects because of the meaning of the word as a negative thing. When in fact, uh, what based on what you will see today in this video, that it actually is a positive thing to the material. Okay, so no crystal is perfect. Of course, we know this. Anything that is formed naturally will have its own characteristics. Uh, imperfections affect mechanical properties, chemical properties, and electrical properties. So there are four classification of this uh, crystalline imperfections, and they are classified in terms of the dimensions that they exist in. So we have zero dimensional defects, also called point defects. Okay, zero D is just a point. Uh, we have one dimensional defects where the defect is happening in just a line. We have 2D uh, defects, it's called planar defects, where the defects are happening on a plane. And then we have 3D defects, where of course, you might have guessed it, it's happening in a whole volume. Okay, so the defects are categorized in these um, four categories. So that's what we're going to look at today. So first, let's start with the zero-dimensional defects or point defects. So for point defects, um, whatever imperfection that is happening um, on the material is happening on a point basis. Okay, for example, at a specific atomic region, that is where the error is happening. So you can see that very clearly here. Uh, the description is vacancy is formed due to a missing atom. So whenever you have an arrangement like this, be it BCC or FCC, uh, the defect that happened is caused by an atom missing from a specific region. So only one atom missing. Okay, so what, um, how this affects the material is that it decreases the density of the material. Okay, of course, each atom has its mass. It contributes to the entire uh, mass of the material. So if you take out one atom, the material still remains the same. Okay, one atom is super small compared to the whole size of the material. So if one atom somewhere on the material is missing, it will result in the uh, reduction of the material's density because density is mass over volume. So this part will be less. Therefore, the whole density will be less. So there are a few reasons um, that this could happen. So one of them is that there's a local disturbance during crystal growth. So remember, metals are formed in the solidification process, which you've learned in previous topic. So during the growth of crystal from the nucleus to the growth of crystal, there might be some local disturbance. That means all the atoms are forming this crystal, but maybe at one point, it may there may have been a disturbance, maybe in the energy levels, which caused the atom not to be in that position, leaving it empty. Okay. Another reason is the atomic arrangements in an existing crystal so maybe the crystal these are the crystal that is already formed and the rest is still liquid so maybe the arrangement here is preventing the uh, atoms in the liquid to fit in a cer certain places okay but remember this is a defect so this does not happen in a large uh, amount right only at local places and then another reason is rapid cooling from higher temperatures to low one. This could also disrupt the process of forming a perfect crystal structure. Therefore, there will be defects. And 
Finally, bombardment with energetic particles such as neutrons, which will cause interstitial C. Okay, that means uh, another particle may have knocked this atom out of its place, which is possible during the solidification process. Okay, so that is the point defect. Now let's look into details what's happening here. So the first defect is interstitial C. And you have learned about interstitial solid solution before. This is something else. Okay, but the concept is the same because interstitial, remember, it's about having a solute atom filling in empty spaces. Okay, but uh, in the defect, a point of view also we have something called interstitial C. Okay, so atoms in a crystal sometimes occupies interstitial site. So this is not necessarily a solid solution, but it's just one of the atoms that manage to squeeze in the empty space. One of the atoms of the material itself. Okay, this can be induced by irradiation. Okay, the heat can cause this and this of course causes structural distortion okay even in the normal um, interstitial solid solution also it might cause some distortion but having an, an atom that is really not supposed to be there cause a greater structural distortion you can see in the shape of the atoms that will have changed because of this Okay, another, uh, there are two defects here that you can see. Um, both are point defects also. The first one is a short key imperfection. Okay, a short key imperfection means that there are two oppositely charged ions which are missing from an ionic crystal. Okay, this results in a creation of vacancy of one complete set. Okay, a cation, anion, di vacancy. Okay, so let's look at this diagram. The short key defect, try to see here, there's one orange atom missing, or rather orange ion, since we are dealing with an ionic crystal here, and one uh, blue ion also missing near its place. So, because a pair of ions are missing, let's say positive 1 and negative 1, it does not affect the overall charge of the material. Okay, but uh, it's something like the vacancy imperfection, except that a pair of ions are missing, one positive and one negative. Okay, and then there's also the Frankel imperfection, which if you look at this... Um, region here on the diagram you can see that here there is an ion missing but in this region there are two ions okay so what it means is a cat ion has moved to an empty site and therefore creating a cat ion vacancy region so this guy has moved from this position to another position just because it can okay this still keeps the um, overall charge of the material the same, it will still be neutral. However, locally, this increases the electrical conductivity. Okay, at local regions. So, if this were to be a, a cable, for example, to conduct electricity, then locally there will be some disturbance. Okay, in the next video, we are going to look at one-dimensional defects or line defects.